Say, ah, ah. Ah. 10 million Americans have government-sponsored health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Starting Wednesday, they can add or change coverage. Good job. Amelia Peterson remembers the stress of deciding whether to see a doctor before Obamacare. So it was actually one thing that my husband and I used to fight about a lot was how often to go to the doctor and if we could afford it or not. Costs for marketplace plans are going up on average 34% next year, according to a study by Avalier Health. Most people have subsidies that protect them from some or all of that increase, but 7 million Americans don't. They're on their own because they earn too much to qualify for government help. If you make $49,000, you've gone off the cliff and you pay the whole thing yourself. So they are, I think, feeling vulnerable and any premium increase is going to be, is going to be burdensome for them. Obamacare is still the law, but President Trump is stopping reimbursements for insurance companies required to provide low-cost plans. Federal funds for navigators to help people find the right plan cut 40 percent. Advertising dollars slashed 90 percent. You know what the impact is. You know, some people are going to go without insurance. Some people are going to be kicked off the ACA. So these are some of the forgotten voices that we've been talking to, and we'll share their stories over the next few weeks. Signing up? could be tricky for some of these folks because the federal government's website is going to be down for 12 hours every Sunday. Plus, the enrollment period is a lot shorter than people are used to. Instead of going until the end of January, it's ending December 15th. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.